it does sound like a very efficient system but let's talk about costs is it cost effective compared to uh, the other alternatives I mean desalinization is very expensive very expensive and um, for every gallon of water liter of water that we can save through this system would definitely be less expensive than um, the idea of producing that water through a desalinization plant um, our system um, is slightly more expensive than traditional irrigation systems but when you factor in the water savings and the maintenance savings because there are virtually there's there's just one small pump in our system and that's the only moving part we don't have spray heads we don't have valves we don't have a lot of electric lines so there's far less maintenance and again when we look at the amount of water we save between 50 and 80 percent over traditional systems once you factor all of that in then you know the epic system becomes very cost effective Research and development in this area has never been more crucial. Please share with us the details of your R&D division. And, and I should add too that um, we're, we're not only just working in the Middle East, we also have a division of the company that's working in the U.S. So we're, we're doing R&D in, in both countries. Uh, the inventor of the system is, is currently one of our employees of the company and he is definitely working on, on new innovative ways to use the system. But for instance, right now, we have um, test plots that we've installed um, uh, at a large farm in Alain and um, at Yas Island down in Abu Dhabi. And we're experimenting with a number of things there. In Alain, we've got the system installed in a greenhouse and we've also installed it out in the open field. And then we'll soon be installing it with date palm trees. And that's one of the big areas of research that we want to do with the system to demonstrate how we can use far less water for date palms. At Yas Island, we're doing something really interesting because one of the test plots there, what we're doing is we're taking water directly out of the Gulf and we're putting it into our system. And we'll be growing a variety of plants with that seawater. Um, there's a plant called Sesuvium, and we did an experiment about three years ago in Abu Dhabi. And we were very successful at, at using straight seawater to irrigate with. And because of the way we put it through the, into the roots through the system in the bottom, we don't desiccate, dry the plant out on the surface and kill it, which other irrigation systems would do. And part of that test plot, what we're also doing is we've constructed it in a very unique way to show that we, we can also achieve some desalinization of that seawater through our system. Again, just using gravity and capillary rise uh, without virtually any electricity. And so what we'll be doing is we'll be growing plants that can live on pure seawater, to plants that can survive on brackish water, um, even plants that need fresh water. And we'll be doing um, research and development to, to determine what we can accomplish by using actually straight seawater for irrigation. So you have facilities in Al Ain and on Yes Island. Are those the only facilities you have at the moment in the Emirates? That's, that's what we've installed so far in the Emirates at this point. We've got a lot of interest from other parties and we believe that especially the agriculture industry here is going to be very open and has shown interest in the EPIC system um, because they are looking for solutions that, that can use less water, um, that are easy to maintain, that they don't have to have drip lines running all over the place that are constantly breaking. And so people are seeing the benefits of the simplicity of our system and, and the efficiency of it. And so. Uh, for that, you know, right now in the, in the UAE, that's what we've got. We've got many facilities that we've um, put this system in in the U.S. over the last eight years. So we've got over a hundred installations. So we know the system works. It's proven itself time and time again. And our initial results at the farm in Alain, in the first greenhouse experiment that we set up, we had a half the greenhouse irrigated with the EPIC system, and the other half has been irrigated with the traditional drip system. And over the last three and a half months that that system's been in, we've consistently used between 80 and 90 percent less water than the half of the greenhouse that's being irrigated with the traditional drip system. And finally, Bart, will you be making any new announcements soon? Well, again, I, I did mention that we're working on some desalinization things with, with the system. Um, the inventors also um, figured out a way to adapt to, to do some desalinization. Um, to provide drinking water for people, to create a distiller that doesn't use any electricity, that's under development right now. 
And we also do have a large announcement coming up very soon. We just recently signed an agreement with a large multinational company based in the U.S. who will be the distributor of the EPIC system um, for North America. So we're very excited about that. We just signed the agreement last week and we'll be coming out with an announcement on that very soon, as soon as we've worked out the, the details of that with, uh, with the other company. We're looking forward to that. Thank you, Bart. That was Bart Rabine, Managing Director of Epic Green Solutions in the Middle East, who shared with us his insights on the problem of water shortage in the region and how the Epic system can help solve this problem.